Hey GED students, let's go ahead and take a look at all the ways we can think about the second power, the second power. So hopefully you guys know by now what I'm talking about when I say the second power, I'm talking about that little exponent of two. So I can read this problem here as 10 to the second power. So most common mistake that students make when simplifying exponential expressions like this one, okay, simplifying, doing the math, exponential expressions, basically what you guys probably think of as a math problem, an expression uh, with an exponent on it. That's all I mean. Okay, guys. So the most common mistake that students make is they just straight up multiply. They go, oh, hey, look, there's a 10, there's a two. I'm going to go ahead and going to go ahead and multiply. And the answer is 20. Okay. And that's related to having a misunderstanding. Now, yes, exponents are related to multiplication in some way, but they're not just straight up multiplication. That exponent of two, that power of two tells me how many times this base is multiplying. So basically what I'm saying to myself is that what, what is 10 times 10 or 10 multiplied by itself twice two tens, not adding, which yeah, would give me 20, but two tens multiplying, which obviously does not give me 20. It gives me a hundred. Now I used a lot of language when I was talking about this. I even said 10 multiplying by itself. So one way to think about the second power is multiplying by itself. So what is five multiplied by itself? What is five times five? Well, that's 25. And look, that's another way of me phrasing what the second power means. These phrases we're looking at here, this math we're looking at here, it's, it's four ways of saying the same thing, guys. Another thing that we learned is this word squared is one of the ways to talk about the second power. What is 11 squared means exactly the same thing as what is 11 to the second power. And it's shorter to say, and so you're more likely to hear a mathematician say squared. But we're asking the same question, okay? When we say what is 11 squared, we're saying what is 11 to the second power or 11 multiplied by itself, 11 times 11. And you can do the side work if you need to, but all I want is your lovely answer that 11 times 11, ooh, I ran out of room, is 121. Okay, so 100, whoa, I'm struggling. There we go. 121. Beautiful. And now, again, another way to say the same thing. I could write 3 to the second power. I could say 3 squared. I could say what is 3 multiplied by itself. Or I could just write that out in what we call expanded or factored form as repeated multiplication. So 3 squared or 3 times 3 is the same as 9. So a lot of times what happens is students learn things one way, like they learn about perfect squares one way, and they forget that there's lots of different ways I can ask the same thing, okay? So here's four different ways to think about or talk about perfect squares. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. Happy learning.